Hello everyone and welcome to this class. This is going to be a more advanced class to give you a taste of how it is that the Bowspring progresses. So this is for you to try out and to try it on. Please simplify as necessary and don't feel like you have to accomplish everything by any means. This is my beautiful friend and student, Monique. <laughs> She's been practicing for a couple of years with me here in Colorado. And I'm so grateful that she's here. Please have a yoga block available for your practice. I'm also going to be using some of the Bowspring language or jargon. I'll be doing my best to break down what that jargon <laughs> means, but I do want to begin sharing the language that we're building around this movement. So let's begin. We're going to start on our backs. So please lower to your back from your side. Come to one side, slide your bottom arm down and roll to your back. Step yourself to the center of your space. Walk your feet in towards your hips and step your feet shoulder width distance and relax your knees together. As you mount your glutes up, you can feel that support the architecture of your lower back curve. Lift your arms towards the sky to pull out your shoulder blades so that the back of your heart gets wider and fuller and lift your chin from your throat and then relax your hands by your side, either touching your belly or resting your palms open near your hips. Close your eyes and allow your breath to deepen. Connect your breath, filling into your ribs so there's an expansion through the ribs. As you expand the ribs with your inhalation, Feel the exhalation, then draw your belly in and offer you an opportunity to relax into the space that so sweetly holds you. Space your teeth and seal your lips. Allow your inhales and your exhales to ride in and out of your nose. Lift your arms towards the sky in a vector with your palms facing each other. Seed the hands so curling the fingers in and windshield wiper the knees left and right. Rotate on the inner and the outer paws of the feet. That's the front of the feet and your light through the heels. Pause with your knees to the left and really root your right hip back so it's not popping forward. That groin, the right groin stays deeply hollow. Lift your knees through center, knees to the right. Widen and anchor your left hip back, anchor, hollowing the left groins. With those hollows of the groins in mind, take your windshield wiper left and right at your own pace, keeping your toes relaxed to the ground. Let your inhales fill up your ribs and then also begin to let that inhale spill into your belly so your belly expands. And then exhale, drawing your belly bands in Lift your knees to center, mound your glutes up, step your legs out so they're straight and stretch your arms over your head. Bend into your knees a few inches so they're lifting towards the sky and you're rooting down through the heels. Then walk your ribs to the left about six inches by pushing down through your head and stepping your ribs to the left. Reach your arms over your head to receive your left, your left hand receives your right wrist. Drag your heels back as you bloom your right butt into the ground. This is a really nice side body opener and we wanna be here for it. So root your hips and feel the expansion of your right ribs moving wide. Release your hands and step your hand, ribs back to center. So you're doing these little walking steps with the head pushing down and moving the ribs and then let's walk the ribs to the right. Stretch your arms all the way back over your head and right hand holds the outside of your left wrist. The hand pushes into the wrist and the wrist resists it. Now bloom your left butt back. Your knees are slightly bent as you begin to drag your heels into the ground and up towards your butt energetically. 
Deep breath expands the left ribs, opens the left side body. And release your hands as you walk through center. And step your feet in. Extend your left arm long and roll to your left side for side bow. Step your hips behind your ribs and lift your bottom left ribs by pushing into the ground with both of your hands. Drag your hands back to pull that left rib cage up out of the waistline and step the left arm to be um, at a little bit of a diagonal. So it's not straight up from your head, it's just a little diagonal. And then rest your head on your arm so that the back of the ear slides off of the arm and the arm is holding your cheek. Uh, let's do head rest here. Lift your right hand and hold the back of your head. Push the knees forward, hero the feet, relax the toes, part your top leg from your bottom leg. Fiesta flare the feet, so that means that the heels are narrow and the paws are wide, and let's take 10 bicycle pedals. Now begin to engage the left arm a little bit more so that you're pushing down to rise up. You're not just collapsing into the ground here. And as you lean back, you can feel this broadening energy through the back of your heart. Take a deep breath there. And as we're breathing and moving, we're polishing the radiance that lives in our heart. This radiant, loving, joyful energy. Let that radiant light get so bright, 360 degrees. And you can even close your eyes here to imagine this bright light shining inside of your ribs, nourishing your heart. Space your teeth and seal your lips. I even like to arc the left ear behind the shoulder a little bit as you lean back here with your head. And three, two, and one. Baby hurdler, cross your top leg over your bottom leg and come up onto your forearms. So we're on the outside of the left hip. We're not on the front of the hips, okay? And now push your knees down and forward to elevate the feet. And take some just circles with your ankles here just to move energy there. And then we're gonna find that hero. So it's pulling the top of the foot up a couple of inches. And then fiesta, kicking the paws wide and take some figure eights with your ribs. I invite you to close your eyes to deepen your ability to sense and feel what's happening in your body. And then if you push into the ground with your forearms, can you feel your ribs lift and your heart expand? Ice pick the ground, so you're dragging the pinkies back to the out, for the outer wrist hollow, so it lifts and arc to the right. Push your knees down and forward, that hollows out the groins. Push into the ground with the forearms, arc the ribs to the right. Hopefully you're feeling a pretty juicy sensation of opening through the left side body. And then as always, take some mindful, bodyful pumps and pulses, rooting back, pulling the ribs high. Shift into your right arm, slide the left hand in the direction of the right corner of your mat. Pull out the left ribs before you lower them to the ground. So you're dragging your hand back to achieve that. And then lean the head back, open the arms first like a Y. Gently push down through the left side of your seed hand and then rotate it to a T for a juicier shoulder opener. Now what happens with the twist, if you prioritize pushing the knees down and forward to then open the ribs just a deeper, higher quality twist. Big deep breath, let it open your ribs and spill into your belly, beginning to feel your diaphragm pumping, and then rotate onto your back. Oi, 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 yes, and step yourself back to center. Okay, come to the center of your space, lift and mound your glutes. Lift your arms towards the sky. Actually, let's do, um, let's do two dome hands. Above, right above the shoulders. Lift your chin from your throat and lift your feet from the ground. Let's do some bicycle pedals here. Please bicycle pedal inside of the magnificent curves of your spine so you can feel the hollow of your neck, the mounding of your ribs, the hollow of your lower back, and the mounding of your hips.
lift your arms to the sky as a vector and go in the opposite direction. Can you begin to tone your arms here, but through squeezing your base palm together, but keep your fingers yin and relaxed. And then as you slow it down, you can feel the articulation of the waist hug in, the side waist, it hugs in like you're lacing up a corset. Okay, feet together, twist your knees to the right. Kick your heels away from your legs though to lengthen out the legs and then reach your arms to the opposite direction of your legs. Begin to squeeze your heels back energetically to open and tone the backs of the legs, lift your feet, legs to center, and then twist to the opposite direction. Reach your arms and your gaze up and to the right. And can you lift your left waistline through these twists? One more time on each side. Hmm. Oftentimes we are taking twists in a passive way, so we're not engaging our muscles. So to engage our muscles in a twist is really special. It's really healing. Knees to center. Lower your feet to the ground and extend your right arm long. Sad bow on the right. Step those magnificent hips behind your ribs. Pull out the ribs so you're manually pushing down through the hands. And then step the right arm to be at a diagonal so it's holding your head. You don't have to work for it, but your throat is open and headrest your top hand. So the headrest is holding the back of the head. And you don't wanna lift the elbow to the sky. You want it to be more narrow to help fill your ribs. And then seed your bottom hand, part your top leg from your bottom leg. Push your bottom, uh, excuse me, push your knees forward. And then can you lift your right waistline from the ground? And bicycle pedal. Tongue comes to upper palate, teeth are slightly parted, lips are sealed. Root back through your hips, lengthen through your belly, lengthen through the neck, and reach up through the crown of the head. This is your central channel. That really powerful energy that allows energy to flow more easily through our bodies. It's a, it's a channel and we don't want it to be kinked. Relax your face. Three, fiesta flare the feet. That means that the paws kick wide, heels narrow. Relax your toes and step your left leg in front of your right leg. Climb up onto your forearms. Let's baby hurdler it up. The elbows are stepped slightly in front of the shoulders. Seed your hands, drag the pinkies back and take some figure eights with your ribs. Push the knees down and forward. You can float the feet from the ground. The feet to the ground is gonna be a little bit deeper of a hip opener. And then pause, push into the ground with your forearms to elevate your ribs. Arc the left ear behind the shoulder and begin to arc the ribs to the left. Now see, uh, excuse me, ice pick the hands. Mm -hmm. And then really emphasize that right ice pick to pull your right bottom rib out of your waist. Mm. Shift left, slide your right hand to the left corner of your mat. Pull out your ribs before you lower them back to the ground as you open it up into a twist. Okay, definitely prioritize the knees pushing down and forward. It's, it's only like 10% of your energy, it's not very much. Bloom your butt back and then begin to open the ribs, rotating them to the sky. First start out a Y, push down through that right arm, your, especially all of the mounds of the right arm. And then, ooh, the left arm goes into a T. Deep breath. Two and one. Okay, come onto your backs, please. Step yourself back to your space. Mound your glutes up, Step, stretch your arms open to an open T. Rotate on your seed hands, palms up, um, rotating them up so uh, pinkies up towards the sky. Mm -hmm. And then the 
elbows are bent, the thumbs are on the ground. This is hitchhiker arms and lift your feet from the ground. Okay, so this is an option to here to bicycle pedal. You're dragging the, the thumbs kind of back towards your shoulders. If you want a deeper back bend, you're gonna lift your chin and slide onto the back of your head to float your ribs. At nowhere do we compromise the fullness of the ribs. So we're using the ground here to help open the back heart, the position of the arms to open the back heart and the front heart, side ribs. Okay, and then let's do five barrel rolls forward. Barrel rolls are with the feet together. Exhale, draw the belly bands in as you lengthen them. Space your teeth, tongue to upper palate, deep breaths through the nose, and then five in the opposite direction. We got this. We're going for this uniform tone, all parts and pieces of the body, really plugging into their purpose. Lower the feet to the ground. Whoo, yeah. Bound the glutes up, and let's windshield wiper the legs. You can take whatever hand position you want, either vector or two dome hands above your head. And arms, legs to center. Extend your left arm long, roll to your left side, second set of side bow. Hips behind ribs. Pull out your left ribs by pushing your hands into the ground. This time we're double headrest. So both of, the hand, both of the arms bend to hold and the hands hold the back of the head. Now lean back and you're gonna open more boldly through the front of your body. Push down through your left shoulder. So you're not just collapsing into the ground, you're using the ground as a prop to rise up from. Push the knees forward. Lift your chin out of your throat. Part your top leg from your bottom leg. Fiesta flare the feet. So the bottom heel is lifted from the ground but the outside of the pinky of the left paw is rooted. And then we're gonna lift both feet and we're going to trampoline hop for 10. Six. Now imagine that you're like literally hopping on a trampoline and you're getting that reverberation, that sense of bounce, even a little playfulness, hey. Nobody can be like too serious <laughs> bouncing on a trampoline, you know what I mean? Like, have you ever been like really angry <laughs> jumping on a trampoline? Not recently. Not recently. <laughs> okay, three, two, and one. Okay, lower the left foot, cross the top leg over the bottom leg, and second set of baby hurdler. I'm just gonna turn over my mat so you can see my body more. Float the feet, drag the hand, drag the pinkies back and then arc to the right. Lift your chin from your throat. Please arc with the left bottom ribs in mind and that's what's lifting out of the waist. Yeah, that's the place you're arcing from. Please neutralize the, come, uh, bring the ribs back to center and you're gonna shift into your left arm, lift to the right arm. Lift your right hand and bring it into a hip hook. So the right hand comes to receive the bottom of the right butt cheek, push in, pull up. Now push the knees forward. Reach your top elbow towards the sky to open up the back heart. Arc your left ear behind your left shoulder. Squeeze your heels back. That's gonna activate the butt in a really beautiful way. Keep that engagement as you lift your top hand. Hold the head for headrest. And we're gonna do 10 trampoline hops with the top leg. Deep breath, cultivating more bounce and spring in our everyday life. That's good news. Relax your traps. Soften your face. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Cross your top leg over your bottom base thigh, so right near your knee. Release your top hand and come up onto your spring hands. <clears throat> First, start by stepping your right hand as much parallel as you can with your left. Now, I'll tell you, if you're tight through your side bodies, that's gonna be real tricky. So just go wherever it is that you can go. And hero fiesta your back feet. Push your bottom knee into your front ankle or your top ankle and then push them back. 
with a full radiant heart, lift your top hand, bring it into a headrest. Arc to the left, lift your chin and arc. Okay, you can stay here. This is a really great bus stop in seated side twist. You can kind of even pulse it. And actually, let's engage the, let's get this really wonderful opening through the left side body, through imagining that you're pushing your bottom foot into a wall, and you're pushing into that to pull the ribs up to root the hips and then get big arc. Okay, this is a great bus stop seated side twist. Stay here, or if you wanna add on, you're gonna lift through your hero fiesta back foot into flamingo as we lift the ribs and pulse here. So your back foot, the pinky side of your toe can be on the ground, or you can ver take a variation of crouch foot with your toes curled under. Pause, push into the ground. Don't let your ribs collapse down and arc high. That's so much a part of their radiant nature is their ability to lift in challenging situations. Lean back, arc over the left shoulder for five. Bend and extend, lean back and arc. Three, two, and one. Hero fiesta, your back foot. Extend your right arm. Put the brakes on as you lower, so you're lowering real slow as you root the hips back. And actually, let's just come on to an all fours position and move left and right, move in an organic way. And curl your toes under, spin your knees to the left, lower with, with the brakes on, your right hip down and away from your right hand. Left hand comes to the front of your chest, lower your left knee and slide your right hand to the left corner of your mat. Start by arcing your ear and resisting your ribs up to the sky. So head first, ribs last and find your magnificent side bow, rooting the hips, pulling out the ribs, and taking a double headrest hand position. The knees are bent about bar stool height. Lean your head back into your hands and then resist your hands into, that, into your head and then pull the crown of the head up and slightly back and your neck will lengthen on all sides. Engage the feet by heroing them so the body of the foot pulls up a couple of inches. Fiesta the feet, the paws go wide, and then we're lifting the top. Uh, the legs are engaged, and let's, let's start with some trampoline hops. So it's kind of awkward with both of them lifting, but a lot of the things that we do in here are awkward. So I'm glad we don't let that stop us. But you gotta kind of feel into it. And then just imagine being on a really wonderfully bouncy trampoline and it's big and it's spacious and you feel like you can just bounce anywhere and it's so fun. You're just embodying that playful essence. Take a deep breath into your back heart filling and your bottom ribs expanding from the ground while you push your outside of your right shoulder into the ground. Three, two, and one. Good news, baby hurdler. Cross the top leg over the bottom leg and climb up onto your forearms. So we're always moving at a diagonal here in the bow spring, so in placing our body in a, a diagonal shape. So I'm, what I mean by that here is that the elbows are gonna be stepped right in front of the shoulders. They're not stacked under. And that will actually, that's gonna give us so much more power. Root the knees and arc to the left. Push more fully into that right elbow. Drag your pinkies back and lift your chin from your throat. Arc the left ear behind the shoulder. And here we are. Feel the pulse of your breath. Meet with the rhythm of your movement with deep inhales, deep exhales, and just this really incredible dynamic energy that we're fostering. Okay, pause, push into the ground to fill your radiant heart. 
Shift right, and you're gonna lift your left leg. Wonderful. The knee and the ankle are stacked, so the knee isn't higher than the ankle. Great. And then headrest your top arm. First, oh, let's do a hip hook first. Sorry, my bad. Okay, reach the hand behind the butt. Push in, pull up. Now push your knees forward. And then as a result of pushing your knees forward, you sit your hips more fully back into your hand. Can you feel that? Then widen your top elbow towards the sky. Lift your chin from your throat so you're taking your gaze more forward and arc your right ear behind your shoulder. Whoa, holy moly, this is like such a wonderful neck opener. And then keep that alignment and engagement as you lift your left hand and hold the back of your head for headrest. And then 10 trampoline hops with the top leg. Root the bottom leg so that the pinky side of your hero foot stays connected and the heel is lifted. So when we extend, we'd never go to that straight hyperextended leg because you would never do that on a trampoline. Most people wouldn't. Two and one. Okay, cross your top leg in front of your bottom knee and climb up onto your hand for seated side twist. Um, mm -hmm. With, um, yep. And then again, the arm is stepped at a diagonal. It's not stacked underneath your shoulder, hold the back of your head, push into the ground with the hand on your right hand, lean back and arc to the right. Push your bottom knee into your top foot, bloom your butt back as a result. Seated side twist. This is a great place to hang out. If you want to add on, we're going to move into flamingo world. Start by with your hero fiesta foot. So the pinky side of the bottom foot is engaged. The whole foot is engaged, but that's where it's connecting to the ground. Okay, radiant heart so full, outer elbow wide. Boom, awesome. Then push into the ground to lift the ribs and arc the ribs to the right. Lean back, take your gaze more forward. Either keep your bottom foot in this position or adjust it so it's in a crouch foot. The toes are curled under. I'm gonna stay with Hero Fiesta. The tendency is to look up. Please don't do that. We lose all back heart power there. So keep the gaze more at the horizon and you're looking more in front of you at this plane. Yeah. Three, two, and one. Step your left hand to the ground and rotate into an all fours. Good job. Take some figure eights with the ribs. Figure eights with the hips. Come into a cat pose, draw your chin in towards your chest. Arc your upper back towards the sky and take a little arc to the left. Come through center, arc to the right. Arc to the left with being so mindful of turtle shelling the back heart, keeping the side ribs wide, arc right. Come through center, draw your chin in towards your chest, keep your back really full, and then just give yourself a nice back of the neck opener here. Mm. And then please, if your butt isn't untucked, untuck it, and then lift your chin from your throat. Can you feel when you push into the ground with your hands and your arms? They're so alive, first of all, because we're in spring hands and there's no hyperextension through any of our joints. But when you push down, you can get more full through the back heart and then, oh, more open through the front heart. Okay, curl the toes under, or you can lift into crouching cat through hero feet. So rooting the tops of the feet into the ground. We're gonna slowly make this transition as you push into the ground, lift your knees, and then slowly crouch the feet. Step the feet wide and take some pulses. Mm, some organic movement here. Lift the chin out of the throat. Keep the energy moving through your nose, those bold breaths. Then as your breath moves into your body, you can feel it expand through your ribs, polishing awake your radiant light that is always there, just sometimes we forget it, especially with life's challenges. But that's the most potent time and powerful time to remember it. I'm telling this to myself too. Trust me. Okay, step your feet wide, walk your hands halfway back. Please grab your block, place it on the tallest setting. 
Walk your hands up to the top of the block. The block is stepped arms width distance from your body. And then if you push into the block, can you feel your ribs elevate? If you energetically drag the block back, like you're moving it this way, can you feel the back of your arms tone? Okay, bend and extend into your legs. So we wanna keep that tone, we wanna keep the lift. And then I also wanna encourage you to evaluate where you might be overworking, might be over-engaging. And we don't want too much engagement and we don't want too little of engagement. We just want Goldilocks right in the middle. So just kind of play with these ideas and play with what is too much, what is too little to find your Goldilocks. The paws are rooted. Each time you bend and extend your knees, the butt goes where? Up, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go left and right. When you bend into your right leg and extend your left, take an arc to the left. Bend into your legs, extend your right, arc to the right. Two more times on each side, your own pace. Lifting your chin out of your throat. It's like you're, when you lift your chin, your, the back of your head moves slightly back. And it's like you're almost pushing into a headrest in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat. It's almost that kind of energy. And walk your hands up to your thighs. And please come to stand. Good job. We made it to standing. That's always a celebration. High five. <laughs> okay. All right. So <clears throat> step your block aside and please step to the front of your space. And at the front of the space, the feet are pointing forward. Small little bend into your knees and their shoulder width distance apart. Cross the left wrist over the right and draw your energy in as you chuck the chin and pull the shoulders forward momentarily. Please turtle the back heart, but don't tuck your butt here. We're not going a full tuck here. We want to like snake the belly. So the belly's getting really long, but the upper back is we're just really nourishing the back heart here. And then take your hands over to the right. They're more in a downward plane and push your left ribs wide. Small little bend into your knees. Root your toes to the ground and take a couple of pulses here in and out of your knees never dropping your butt. The arms push into each other. Do you feel this in your left rib cage, your left waistline? And then come through center, right arm crosses over left. Tick tock, take them down into the left, draw your chin in towards your chest. Outer elbows go wide. When you bend your knees, you're sitting your hips back. Keep the weight now forward through the paws of your feet. Okay, one more time at your own pace. Come through center. Left wrist crosses over right. You're drawing the energy in to then more magnificently radiate this powerful energy of your heart and share it with the world. If you haven't switched it out, go ahead and switch it out. Take it to the opposite direction. Inhale, come to center and lift the arms. Let's take some cross crescents with cross arms at the top. Left wrist crosses over right. Again, the arms are in the front plane of the body to help connect us to staying full through the back heart. Then also the arms in the front plane of the body gives us the ability to arc the ear behind the shoulder. And this is really nice. Okay, arc the ear at the, behind the shoulder and then tick tock your arms up into the right. Bend your knees, sit your bum back. Gently pressure the arms into each other. Maybe close your eyes to deepen your connection with this moment, with your body, with your breath. All of this energy supporting your beautiful embodiment practice and your ability to connect with yourself, to connect with your heart. The heart knows, <laughs> the heart is wise. Cross your top uh, right arm over your left, left ear arcs behind shoulder. Initiate this lift with the ribs first. Mm -hmm. Lean back to open boldly through the front bar. And as we polish the radiance of our heart awake more and more, 
then we get to know our heart's wisdom and we can be guided by it. Inhale, lift through center. Step the feet wide so that the, paw, the big toe mounds are off on the mat, the rest of the toe pads are off of the mat, uncross your arms. And now please take a moment and just, you're initiating this figure eight with your ribs and the arms follow. As you are figure eighting the ribs, the breath, it's really expanding the intercostal muscles. That's the muscles between the ribs. So we're actually just getting bigger and bigger through the ribs as we rotate in this figure eight. Let's go in the opposite direction. We're getting bigger. The ribs are becoming more elastic, more mobile, more flexible. And then with the arms lifted, we're just in our power posture here. What a beautiful way to start our day with just an open energy lift into that success and like the, the natural posture that we take when we're like, yay! Okay, bend into your knees, keep your belly long as you lower your hands to your thighs. Shift the weight forward into the pause. Bend into your knees. Please don't shorten your belly and close your, close your spine. So keep your belly open as you like a ninja and a cat. Lower your dome hand. Slide it forward into spring hand. Lower the other dome hand into spring. Step your feet back. Crouching cat. Step your feet hip width distance. Twist a cat to the right. Arc the left ear behind the shoulder. Micro bend the elbows wide. Twist your knees to the right. Lift your top ribs into the air to dome your right hand. It's always an option to lower your left foot and your knee for twisted kitty. Now the big, the big cat is twisted cat with both of the knees lifted. Lift your right arm into the air and headrest. Take your gaze in the vicinity of your left hand as you bend and extend for five. Arc like a big beautiful rainbow. Your hips are the pot of gold through every arc. The top of the rainbow is your ribs crescenting. And then your head, there's an energy that's pulling down through the crown of the head as that's the bottom of the rainbow. Two. And one. Lower the right hand. Spin your knees back to center. Hero both of the feet. Or you can lower with crouch foot. We're lowering into an all fours. Reach the ribs forward. Bend into your knees and slowly lower the knees to a count of five as you resist your hips up towards the sky. Yeah, great job. Take some movement with your hips and your ribs. Let's step the knees apart and your feet together. Grab your block. Take your block to the front of your space at the tallest setting and lower the bottom of your forehead to it. Just take a lovingly rocking motion forward and back. Nowhere in our practice does the ribs close. They stay open through everything that we do and there's such a powerful teaching there of keeping them open even when you're in a challenging situation or in a challenging posture. It's never compromising the fullness that resides there, that we get to uncover little bit by little bit or a lot of bit by a lot of bit. Every day, every breath, there's always more. So feel the expansion of your ribs. Feel the calming of your nervous system. Slowing down your breath. And then slowly step your block aside. Step up onto your hands. Let's keep the knees wide and curl the toes under. Push into the ground, lift with knees wide, and then go ahead and point them forward as you step into crouching cat. Feet hip width distance. Arc the right ear behind your shoulder, the gaze is in your, towards your right hand. Twist your knees to the left. Push into your right arm to, so it's so supported. You're not dropping your ribs down, it's lifting. Then condone the left hand from that brightness of the left ribs and the right ribs expanding, bend and extend. Lift your chin out of your throat. As you slowly begin to lift the left arm and then bring it into a headrest, hold the back of your head. Lean back to open bright. And so it gets hard to hold our, our ribs here, especially when it's one hand, but we can utilize the power of this arm to push down, to rise up. 
And there's helium in the, in the ribs. Just imagine there's a lightness of energy for a three. You can always lower to your back knee. And one. Left hand lowers. Twist your knees to center. Okay, so I want us to find some hops here. So let's like even just start with our feet wide. And you can hop narrow, hop wide. Now there's no sound, right? And I want you to think about hopping with your hips. Three, two, and one. Okay, walk the hands back, grab your block. Enjoy about five bend and extends with your radiant heart full. Getting the back of the arm tone as you energetically drag the block back. And then take your hips from side to side. Keeping your sitting bones expanding and lifting towards the sky. Walk your hands up to your thighs. Dip your right rib to center. Now lift your rib dip, beautiful Monique, yes. And then walk your right hand to your right upper inner thigh. The fingers are pointed towards the groin and you're really kind of muscling that inner thigh. You're encouraging it to go inward. Bloom your butt back. Shift the weight forward into the paws of your feet. Lift your ribs a little bit higher. Begin to drag your heels back to get that booty engagement. As we lift the left hand, reach it across the back of your body to hold the bottom of your right butt cheek. And you're pushing up and you're, pull, you're pulling up with the left hand on the right butt cheek and you're pushing the right hand in. So they're working together for three, especially with the dig drag through the legs, you get this whole leg, foot, butt engagement. And then we're, we're spiraling it in the correct direction. Okay, let's come off of the arms for a moment, release that. Let's just do a little shake. Wiggle out any wiggles or frustrations or all about moving that energy. Okay, other side, step your feet wide bit just so that your toes are right off the mat. And this is a really wonderful, empowering transition. So when you bend the knees into the zigzag, the hands come to the thighs, but your belly stays long and your ribs stay full of helium, full of that radiant light that we get to discover here. Okay. Rib dip left, that means that the rib, left rib comes forward, but we're not just dropping it down. We're actually really using the arms to push out of the legs and to twist the left rib in um, forward to the right. Push your knees into your hands, bloom your butt back. Okay, left hand walks to left upper inner thigh, so we're staying in this rib dip as we take this thigh action. Right hand lifts from your body and go ahead and grab your bottom of your left butt cheek with your right hand. The hands are working together. There's an inner spiral at the left thigh and then mounding up through the, the glutes for three, two, and one. Inhale, unwind and twist. Step your block aside. <clears throat> Step to the front of your space. Oh, great. Making some molecular hydrogen, filling those bubbles. That's exactly what we're doing for our bodies. <laughs> like the bubble, the bubbles coming up. Okay, let me know that when that's done and we'll take a sip together. Okay, lift the arms and double head rest. Root your toes, please don't let those babies lift. Let them ground. As you bend into your knees, bloom your butt and then lift your ribs out of your lower back so there's no compression there. Lean back to arc to the right. Lift your chin, Lead, um, lift your right hand from your head, cross the front of your body to hold the bottom of your left ribs or the center of your left rib cage. Now lean back and pull up on that rib cage. Okay. Just maintain here, but we're just gonna change our gaze. We're gonna go down and to the right. Take a moment to really fill your left ribs where your hands are. Untuck your butt, then take your hand back into headrest as you take now your gaze to the horizon. Bow, arc to the left. Sit back, bow, arc left. Three, two, one. Lean back, 
arc to the right. Let your head get into it so the neck stays long. You're arcing your left ear behind your shoulder even here. Left hand lifts from your head, cross the front of your body to hold right rib cage. Take a breath, push in, pull up. Then to get even deeper in the ribs, what? I know, there's more depth. You're gonna pivot the head with the right arm, the elbow, down and to the left. So you're looking at the outside of your left foot almost. Untuck your butt, refill your ribs, maintain that fullness as you then lift your chin out of your throat, taking it back to the horizon. Left hand stays at the right rib. Push in, pull up. Now keep that fullness of the right rib as you left hand, bring your left hand into headrest for five. Bend and extend. Hips are the gold. Top of the rainbow is the ribs. Then your head is arcing up and over, keeping that or me, uh, creating that other half of the rainbow and lean back to rise high. Okay, great. Take a sway. Whew, yeah, that was a good one. Deep. Uh-huh. Deep. And come to the front of our mat. Please have your block on standby at the front of your space. Our last little, um, our last little standing kata. I think we should do tribal or a high lunge. High lunge. High lunge, okay. I felt that all the way. Yes. My entire side yes. right, to the top of my hip. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good, good. How does it feel now? Feels great. Good, awesome. Taller. Yeah, taller. Oh, okay. Low glow of the hands. So even here, y'all, we get this tone through our arms from the fingertips touching, and then we squeeze together our base palm. You can even do that here. So we're pumping up, we're pumping energy into the, the wetsuit of our arms, and it's like that wetsuit effect. You're being held and, and gently, so gently hugged on all sides. And please take your gaze to the horizon. Pull the crown of your head up. Elbows are forward. Collarbones are wide. Back heart full, park your hips to the left, lift your right leg into the air. Point your toe down, point your toe down, and then pull the body of the foot up a couple of inches, that's that hero. Then kick the pinky wide, that's fiesta, 10 bicycle pedals. Can you stay long through your central channel, through every bicycle pedal? Hips are broad, crown of the head pulls up from the bottom of the ribs, Pulling up. Okay. Right leg, it's, um, we're gonna sit the hips. Sit back into an imaginary chair, then step your right foot back into a high lunge. So just quick, release your arms and just make sure, usually our high lunges, we go way further back. We just wanna make sure that that back knee is descending in front of the hip. You can check it out in my body. You can see it in Monique's. <laughs> Push the knees forward now. There you go, her knee is in front of the hip. And then, yep, and so she's taking the variation of hero back foot, which is awesome, or you can crouch it, okay? And so take your hands to your knees, okay? Push your knees forward into your hands, drag your left heel back, and then lift. Let's take um, hitchhiker and pull, yep, and dumbbell the arm, uh, like the, yeah, there you go. And then rolling the windows down for 10. Push the knees forward. Now, as the front part gets open, can the back heart also get open? Pull the crown up. Imagine that we're in a 1989 Mazda <laughs> or Honda Accord back in the day when we had to do this manually. Two and one. Okay, arms into a vector. Bend into your knee. Cultivate spring. Untuck, let's untuck the back toe if it's in hero. And then you're moving at a diagonal, like you're getting ready to push forward. Can you feel your butt engage, helping you to push forward? Three, two, one, step it forward and sway. Now calibrate as necessary, but try and stay inside of your bowspring alignment. So belly open, throat open, ribs full, hips rooted. Opposite side. Actually, let's take a water break. Grab a sip of water, everyone. 
We have some molecular hydrogenated water here. Cheers, darling. Cheers. <sighs> Increases all of the benefits that we're getting from this practice, like exponentially. Hitchhiker arms, this is a really great question. So if we extend our arms out, we want them to just be slightly forward of the shoulders. Because if y'all, if we go wide or if you go pull the arm back, we collapse the back heart. If we collapse the back heart, that's the first domino that will then impact all of the other dominoes. So, so you, the arms are wide and you can almost like feel, you, like you can lean into your back heart. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So then rotating the palms open, and your pinky side of your hands to the sky, okay? Then you're gonna bend into your elbows and I want you to think about your elbows, like that's what's trying to lift, but it's hard, yeah. Then from squeezing the base palm together, this is where she's gonna get this uniform tone through her whole arm. There you go, then it's in and look at your there, north, south, east, west. Then from this tone, everything hugging in towards the bone, we can rotate back back heart full. Let's try it out. Great question. Okay, shake out any wiggles. Oh, give yourself a high five for getting this far. Love yourself for being here. This is really powerful uh, growth and self-love. We'll glow up the hands. Your gaze stays at the horizon. The crown of your head pulls up. Bend into your knees and park your hips to the right. Lift your left leg into the air, bending your knee. Point your left toe down, that's how we get the calf engagement. Then begin to pull the body of the foot a couple of inches up. Relax your toes, 10 bicycle pedals. Can you engage your legs like you're like legit? Try, you're riding a bike uphill on a high gear and this is like a tough hill. So you can feel that forward action of the bicycle pedal. You can feel that the, the second half of the bicycle pedal really tone your legs. Three, two, stay with your open belly, and one. Pause, push your knees forward, sit your hips back. Don't let the weight drop into your right heel. It stays more forward through the paw. Sit, booty on the rise, step your left foot back into hero or into a crouch foot. Take your hands into your knees. We didn't do this on the opposite side. Let's just do it here, grab your block. Let's, let's crouch the foot. <clears throat> the block comes in front of the right uh, toes and you're gonna walk your hands um, or just actually find a place with your block at the front of the mat where you can stay really connected to your curves. So yeah, great. Push into the block, rise up, and then take some bend and extends. Very slow, very slow. Push down through your right big toe mound. Begin to drag your heel up through each bend and extend. Two and one. Bend into your knees, step your hands to your thighs. If you took a uh, hero foot on the other side, then you'll hero the foot right now. This is so good for your ankle health, but please do not think it's like a relaxed position. It's very encouraging of the ligaments and tendons to like really, they're toning here. Okay, lift the arms into a vector, push the knees forward, bloom your butt back. Open T the arms, push now your elbows, uh-huh. Rotate, elbows going forward, there you go. Begin to draw your uh, seed hands in towards the hollow of your, your elbow and then lift your chin out of your throat and we'll do rolling those 1989 windows down. Honda Accord. Big deep breath, rotate with your back heart full. Now please back off your effort, but keep the engagement. Three, two, and one. Untuck your back toes, vector the arms. Five pulses, getting ready to start a race. Moving at a diagonal, you can feel all of your glute muscles working, mounding up 
and then step your left foot forward. Take this way. Okay, we forgot to do that hamstring opener on the other side, so we'll do that now. <clears throat> Low glow of the hands, all of the fingertips touch except the pinkies. Squeeze the base palms together, park your hips to the left. Lift your right leg into the air. Sit and then step, lowering the right foot into crouch foot. Your back knee is descending in front of your back hip as you slowly lower your hands to the tall edge of your block. Root into the block with your hands to rise up from the ribs. Take some bend and extend. Okay, so you can always like use two blocks here if you're, if you're like this. If you're in C-curve land and having a difficult time untucking your butt, you're gonna increase the height of your blocks until you can untuck. Sometimes people will have to use a chair. All sorts of different variations. And bend into your knees, walk your hands to your thighs, and root to rise. Take some sways, arcing right, arcing left. And please step to the back of your space. Um, let's lower in a squat position. So step the feet hip width distance apart, heels in, feet wide, low glow of the hands. Slowly lower, bending your knees, blooming your butt back, but pulling the crown and the ribs up. So they're resisting going down. Your belly stays long through these transitions. Okay, root down and rise up. Then bend two more times. Can you relax your face, keep your gaze soft. And then when you come down, push your hips back like a ninja, like a cat step one hand, followed by the other. So mindful. Spin your heels wide. Step your feet hip width distance. Please cross your right ankle over your left knee. Slowly lower both of your knees to the ground. Untuck your toes so we're in hero feet. Okay, so the right knee, we want it just to be slightly narrow. We're not trying to open it super wide. And then this right foot, we want the inseam of the ankle. We want the inseam of the ankle to have no wrinkles. Okay, so that means sometimes stepping the right paw back. Have your block handy if you want to use it. I'm going to offer a couple of different variations and lower onto your forearms. Have your block, place it on the tallest setting and lower it to the bottom of your forehead. And you want to step the block far enough away from your body so you're not collapsing your chin down and in, but keeping the chin more in, um, up and out. So this is option number one. This is a really beautiful place to be. And if you want something a little less restorative, then you're gonna come up onto your hands. And we're gonna walk the hands up and over to the, wait, yeah, to the left. Okay, but that, that's so, the right hand still is on, the, yeah, it's like on the mat-ish. And walk your hands a little further back towards your body. Mm -hmm. Now arc to the left, drag your right hand back, untuck your butt and then pulse, step your hands a tiny bit wider. Mm -hmm. And like, how can you use your hands pressing into the ground to help crescent your ribs to the left? Just kind of play with that idea. And then step your hands to center. Curl your back toes under. So you can, um, we're gonna move into a twisted cat with cross ankle squ squat. But if you're not feeling that, if you like really need the restorative, then just stay with your forehead on the block. If you're ready to add on, curl your back toes under, keep your top leg crossed over your bottom leg, and then slowly twist your knees to the right, arc your left ear behind your left shoulder. Hero fiesta the top foot so there's no wrinkles on the inseam of your right ankle. Take some bend and extends and kind of play here. So you can lift the right arm, you can headrest, you can, oh, that's like a good place to stay. Three, two, 
And one, if you're lifted, you're gonna lift that right leg, step it behind your left leg for back cat. Okay, but now twist both of your feet to the, yeah, mm -hmm. there, I don't know what direction that is. <laughs> and then arc over the left shoulder. And then let's wishbone the top arm, whoa. And as the elbows go wide of each other, bloom your butt back and pull that right bottom rib forward for three, two, holy moly. And one, lower the, and hero the feet, slowly lower the knees. Woo, okay, that was a good kata. All right, one more side, y'all, one more side and we're calling it a day. Okay, find your radiant heart. Hero the feet, crouching cat. Feet walk in and up just a little amount. Then shift right, cross your left ankle over your right knee. Slowly lower your knee so that right foot can be in hero or it can be in crouch. You can lower the knees. Ensure that your left knee is slightly narrow. The left inseam of your ankle has no wrinkles, so that's the hero fiesta. Let's start with the more restorative option. Lower onto your block, untuck your back toes. Feel your inhalation supporting all of this concentrated energy into your body that's full of your radiant light. Just cultivating it, really nurturing it. Seeing it come to life. And then with each exhalation, you can feel your radiance shine its inherent light. Rocking forward and back. Stay here if you want to maintain this more restorative posture. If you want to add on, we're going to do that. Step the block aside, walk up onto your hands. Okay, is your butt untucked? Check. Are your ribs full? Check. Lift your chin out of your throat. Then just a couple of steps to the right. The arms, again, are wider, more in front of the shoulders to create that diagonal essence. Arc your right ear behind your shoulder and then sit your left hip back and arc to the right. There's so many, you know, you could dome your hand, you could headrest, but... Mm. and step your hands to center. Curl your back toes under, push into the ground, cross ankle crouching cat. Arc your right ear behind your shoulder and twist your knees to the left. I will say if your legs are too far apart, that's gonna be way harder. If, you know, if you're really struggling, I mean, this is not easy to begin with, but if you're like really, really struggling, then I'm gonna invite you just to play with stepping your bottom leg up towards your hands. Notice what's happening with your throat and your head. Arc the head like a rainbow. Three, two, one. Release your top foot. Step it behind your bottom foot. Both of the feet are to the pointing to the, to the right. There you go. So it's more of a side body opener. Lift your left hand. Head rest. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Uh, chin up bar. Uh, da -ba -da -da -da. Wishbone. <laughs> okay, so that means that the left hand holds the right forearm. Elbows go wide of each other. Holiness. Deep breath. Three, two, one. Now let's open it up. Pulse. Head rest. There you go, girl. Mm. And then spin it back to center. Hero all fours. Let's lower to the left hip. Whew. Right hand comes to the front of your space. Left hand slides to the right corner, slowly lowering left ear comes to shoulder, resist your ribs to the sky. Oh yeah, let's do one more twist. So cross the top leg in front of your bottom leg, pull out your ribs. There's always more space at the waist, and then open your arms to be a uh, V. As you lift your chin, can you lean back more with your head? That's gonna help open the front lines of fascia, and then come onto your back. Step yourself to the center of your space. 
Extend your right arm. Pull out the right ribs. Left leg drapes over the right. Lean your head back, open your left arm. Mm. Mm. Take some circles with your, ankle, with your wrists. Oh. Opening and closing your, your fingers. Just getting some, and then come onto your back. Mound your glutes up. Lift your knees into your hands for freedom pose. Elbows wide. Lift your chin out of your throat. Roll left and roll right. If you want to lean your head back and more come onto the top of your skull, you can and float the ribs left and right. That's an option. Close your eyes as you find the centered space within as you move. And if there is anything else that is calling to you before you move into an assimilation, please give that to your body. And if you're ready to ground this practice, mound your glutes up and then walk your legs long. And if you, then let's lift the arms to the sky just to, for, the, for the mere purpose of pulling your shoulders out and then creating more space at the back heart and then resting your hands open by your side with your palms facing up. Ensure that your chin isn't dropping down and in. And feel the sweetness of your breath meeting with your body as you relax into the earth. And the practice here is presence, noticing when the mind wanders, and it will, and gently bringing it into this potent moment that we're sharing together. Visualizing the radiance of your heart and this fountain of joy that lives there, this fountain of love, this really high energy and feel it move through your body in such a healing way here. As it moves, it's simultaneously holding you. And it can move slowly, and maybe this light it has a color. And then as it moves within the contours of your skin, begin to feel it move out from your skin into your electromagnetic field. And we'll enjoy a hum together with your lips sealed, your tongue to your upper palate. Whenever you are ready, you can take a deep breath in. ready, seeing your radiant essence so embodied, present to it and pure. And as a demonstration of living into our inherent radiance and our willingness to live into our heart space and to keep our ribs lifted and full even in the most challenging of times, situations, so that we can maintain a connection to the guidance of our heart. Feel your arms extended from your heart as you bring movement to your fingers and your wrists. 
your toes and your ankles. Stretch your arms all the way over your head. Full body stretch. And as you stretch, can you feel your waistline narrow and your lower back come off of the ground? Begin to bend into your knees, walking your feet up towards your hips and rolling to your left side. Push down through your top hand, ribs first, head last. Bring us into a rising position in kneeling. Bring a soft prayer position to the front of your heart with your elbows lifted. Just getting tall inside of your energy field. So grounded. And bow inward to yourself for giving yourself this incredible opportunity. Demonstrating so much love and care to yourself. Seeing your radiance and shining it awake. We bow inward. And then on your exhale, please lift your arms to share your beautiful, necessary light with the world. Thank you, everyone. Really good job. Blessings. Thank you, Monique. Thank you, Paris. Couldn't imagine a better friend to do this with. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.